can all be energy savers. <laughs> it's easy. Turn off lights. Use energy saving light bulbs. And turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. Learn what you can do today at energy.gov slash kids. Welcome back to Know for Perspectives. Okay, so far we've heard about getting engaged as a citizen. You got to go to the uh, inclusion workshop. It's a great way to figure out how to get involved in the community. And then celebrating trees. We might be an urban center, but we're full of trees. Now, Holly, Carson, Christopher. <laughs> I got it? You got it. All yeah, right. <laughs> is here to put me on the spot to see if I've actually learned anything over the years of doing the show That's right. with recycling. We've been, we've been talking for a long time, for, for years, about the different things that you can put in your carts. Now I just want to test and see how much you've recalled yeah, from that. One thing I've noticed that when I come home on uh, uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, getting ready for trash day, that the blue carts are showing up week after week. Mm -hmm. So it appears that people are really recycling. My question is, do they know what's going to go inside the cart and why should they do it? That's I that's mean, a great question. Nobody ever tells you out. what happens to it. It's like yeah. the trash. It goes out to the curb and magically goes someplace called away. Where which is all that matters to right, me. You got it out of your house and now your house is clean, which okay. is great. But then what, where it goes afterwards is kind of this mystery. So um, in Norfolk, all of our recycling goes to the Material Recovery Facility in Chesapeake. And there, um, there are vendors who are purchasing these items, these recycled items or these, these trash waste items um, for um, resources for their new materials. So okay. the plastic bottles that you would put into your recycling cart, they're going to get bought up by other vendors, say Coca-Cola, who wants to create more Coca-Cola bottles, or okay. other vendors to turn them into really cool stuff. Plastic is very versatile, and it turns into a lot of really cool stuff. And I've got some examples here today okay. of some of those cool things. Wait a minute, this is, I thought this was stuff I was gonna send to the recycling. No, th well, no, this is the stuff you get from recycle. The reason oh. that you can recycle certain items is because there are vendors who want to purchase that item. Okay, let's so be candid. If we purchase here. the product, then we can go ahead okay, and recycle. Okay, let's be let's be candid uh -huh. here then. So we've moved from doing it because it's the right thing. Mm -hmm. That there is an economic driver to it in Absolutely. today's environment, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you want to do it because it's the warm and fuzzy right thing to do, that's great. But there's also an economic reason. Um, the cost for to the city for processing the recycling and collecting the recycling is a lot less than um, our trash collection. So it can save us tax money in the long run. It also saves money in the production of the new materials because you're using about half the energy, so half of the fossil fuels that you would normally use. And so it's cheaper to recycle than it is to um, to process something from virgin material. Okay, now I gotta ask you, is this, I'm gonna hit you because I don't see a water bottle in here. No, I see you a don't. Glass. Now I've, I'm, I'm no longer allowed to use water bottles. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I can't because I understand they don't go anywhere. They don't. Oh, well, if you're recycling them, that's great. But the majority of water bottles are not getting recycled. They're being thrown into trash containers because they're used at public events, and most public events don't have a recycling option. Right. You know, if you go to the park, there's no recycling container there. Or, you know, if you go to a venue, most of the time there's no recycling there. So that just ends up in the trash. But if you're using it for your own personal use so at I home. So that metal thing. Yeah, the, your SIG cup, that's or great. Or I do this, and this is recycled? This is made um, out of a beer bottle. It's a made out of a Mexican oh, beer bottle. Isn't okay. that cool? Yeah, that is cool. So that's just one example of something fun that you can purchase when that's made out of something recycled. That's where your glass may be going. Uh, how can a t-shirt be recycled? That's a great idea. Isn't it nice? How does it feel to you? Does it feel like plastic? Feels like a, no, what? Does it feel like plastic? No, it feels like a regular t-shirt. That's made out of recycled plastic bottles. That and oh, this you're kidding. carpeting are both made out of recycled plastic bottles. Does it feel like now that? That, you know, okay, that's carpet. <laughs> but no, this feels nice and soft. No, and I have one at home, and I wash it all the time. Every time I wash it, it actually is, gets softer, so it's softer cool. now than my regular cotton T-shirts. Wow, now what is this thing? That is wood. Um, this oh. is by a company here in Virginia, so kind of keeping it local. It's by a company named Trex. And all of those plastic shopping bags that you take back to the grocery <clears> store, <throat> Yeah. that yeah. you don't use anyway because you use recycled or re reusable bags, right? I have reusable bags uh -huh. in my house. Yes, they should be in your car. I know. <laughs> But if you take back Not your me. plastic bags and you put them in that container, Trex buys those bags back from the grocery store. They shred them down, add a little bit of composite and glue, and boom, you have recycled plastic lumber. And it becomes a forever deck. It does. Was I supposed to mention that? <laughs> That's cool, so you can walk on it. You can. I, I actually tore out my deck at my old house and replaced it with this material. It was just a little bit more expensive, but... You, I don't have to repaint it. That's right. I'm not going to get termites. It's not going to rot or warp, and it won't give my son little splinters in his feet. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
It's great stuff. It's it lasts really forever. Oh, this has to be cotton. Come on, this can't be. Recycle plastic bottles. It's awesome. Like, yeah, it's got it's a logo great. on it, so I won't. Okay, now you well, got a box logo, of stuff. It's okay. <laughs> You're going to throw this to me, and I'm going to tell you That's if it's right. recyclable or not. We have a lot of people who come in from other areas of the country where you can recycle different items. And so people in their zeal for wanting to recycle yep. just kind of throw everything That's in That's right. There. If it's plastic, it goes. But what happens is that if, if there's too much contamination in your cart, then it ruins the entire load, and that whole truckload ends up having to go to the landfill. You just now made me really feel bad if I get it wrong. Okay, Sorry. throw so it at me. I'm gonna, All right. we, we, got, we got about a minute to do this. So. Okay. Cardboard box. Recycle. Easy. Okay. Okay. Magazine. Recycle. Okay. Yogurt container. Oh gosh. Plastic. Recycle. Nope. Wrong kind of plastic. Throw it out? Yes. Yogurt okay. containers can't be. <laughs> okay. Hit me. Ooh, Last oh. bottle. Use. Aluminum. No. Yes. You can? All aluminum. Even the foil clean that's it left first? on. Nope. You don't have to clean it at okay. all. Just throw it in there. Um, no. That's right. Good job. All right. Yes. If you have to use them, use them. Yes. Recycle. Styrofoam. Ah. That's right. Good job. This is that reusable, or not reusable, but this, <laughs> this goes? Nope. Paper oh. plates. Okay. They usually have food on them. Yeah, this. Can't go in your cart. Oh. They have to go back go to the back store. Go back to the store. They gum up the machinery. Cart. Very good. No. Yes. I thought you couldn't. You can. That little bit of you plastic sure? right there is okay. Yes. Positive. Cool. Okay. Old paper, old homework from your kids? <laughs> My homework. Dog <laughs> ate it. Toilet paper roll? Uh, yeah. uh, it's, pla it's paper. It's, yeah, it's paperboard. Go ahead. You're cheating. Nope. It, you can. You can. And you put it inside a can, it doesn't take any space. That's right, out. it takes up less space. And then just regular old paper envelopes. Yes. Like unwanted mail. Yeah. Oh, unwanted mail? Unwanted yes. mail. All of your unwanted mail. But it's a church pledge card, so. Nope. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you one thing I've. Okay, should you or shouldn't you? Put it in with the top. That is a great question. We would prefer that the top gets taken off because, because it does not get recycled get, and it saves space in the, I in want the trunk. To do this. Ah, okay, okay when we come back, we're going to be talking about Norfolk State and some great things going on there. <laughs> I wanted to do that. started his ideas, ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support minority education today so we don't miss out on the next big idea tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. Well, the last uh, segment we talked about the value of recycling and knowing what's going out but also about investing in our future. And I got two guests here that I'm going to ask them to invest to tell me who, who they are today because every time they're on the show, they're in a different position. Rodney Jordan, NRHA, uh, civic uh, activist. I mean, you've really been involved in today. You're here as a vice chair. Yes, that's correct. Vice chair for economic justice initiatives for the Hampton Roads Committee of 200 plus men. 200 plus men, because that's yes. what it's all about, is investing and engaging those 200 plus men. Yeah. And Gerald Tyler, <coughs> Norfolk State, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But T for today, you are here. Today, I serve on our board of directors for the 200 plus men as the uh, parliamentarian. But I guess most specifically right now, serving as the uh, chair for the promotions and publicity committee for our upcoming event. Okay, now, you know, I want to make a big to-do of uh, the, the involvement that you guys have been involved in for the last, I don't know, many, many years. We won't yeah. go into that. Because that is what it's all about, is setting an, an example to the community, to a future generations of how to become a good community member, right? Absolutely. You know, we, you know, back, you said a long, long time ago, my hair used to be dark. <laughs> I and, wasn't going to say And they all used to this. call me young blood when we first got started. <laughs> but, uh, but you're absolutely correct. Whippersnapper, I think, was the word I heard <laughs> once before. <laughs> but we all got started uh, around trying to get involved in the community, do what we call community betterment. And so we've been working in different areas. As you mentioned, I'm involved with uh, economic justice. We have education. And then we have a broader goal that we, or area that we call community. But all of it centers around how do we get individuals to be active citizens? How do we improve the conditions, not only in the local cities where we reside, but also uh, as a region? 
Okay, now I, 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 I've been guilty every now and then. I got two daughters that I've raised and they're still calling me, thank goodness. But mm. I'll sit in front of the TV and say, my God, those kids. And then I realize I'm talking like my dad. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have your, your dad or mom kind of box your ears saying, now Gerald, get your act together. Oh yes, oh yes. Really? Well, were that time so that, your act hasn't always <clears throat> been together? Were, the, were there times that they didn't, did not do that, you mean? <laughs> oh yes, but I, I praise God for them having done that. That mm -hmm. kind of uh, role modeling, that kind of nurturing, that kind of love, that kind of caring, and demonstrating that kind of love. I didn't know it was love and caring at yes, the time. Sir. Yes, sir. Back in my day, I'm a little... <laughs> back, <laughs> back, back in my day, it was, it was love and caring yeah. and, and parents who loved their children, their offspring, and wanting for them better it's than what they had. Now. Yes, yes, yes. But you know what's, what's interesting to me as you talk about parents, because I also had parents that were very much involved, mm -hmm. but just like the young people that we're, we're talking about are going to be honoring uh, in May, you know, I had the opportunity to go to Norfolk State during the summer, and they would have uh, different activities, and I would go to the planetarium. So when I first joined the 200-plus men, many of the men who also helped to mentor me when I was in high school, when I was in junior high school, these were the same men that now I was being a part of as I joined the organization. And so we want to continue that tradition that we have generations of men that are providing opportunities and mentoring other young men and continue that successful pathway. Okay, guys, now we're, we're friends, <laughs> Yes. right? We've yes. known each other a long time. <laughs> yes, we have. You guys come on this show <laughs> practically every year to talk about the uh, breakfast coming up on May 15th. That's correct. At the Virginia Beach uh, Convention Center. That's um, correct. Let's deal with the plus thing. <clears throat> You've been 200 plus for a long time. <laughs> yes. Yet you told me you got to have it at the at the uh, the convention center because yes, because we are growing. Many of our activities we sponsor uh, many activities during the course of a year uh -huh. and the next year, next year, next year. This what we are alluding to now uh -huh. is our 13th annual mm -hmm. uh, Scholars Breakfast, where the 200 plus men organization we roll out the red carpet, if you will. We salute, we spotlight, we highlight these high achieving African American males. All right, who some folk look at as being an endangered species, but yet they are achieving at the higher levels. We honor those who are maintaining 3.0 GPA in high school, GPA mm -hmm. averages in high school and higher, okay? So that's what we're doing with them on May the 15th down at the Virginia Beach Convention Center. Now, we have outgrown. Yeah. Our first nine okay. years, I believe, we held this activity at the Chesapeake Conference Center. Right now, as best that I can tell, there are only about two venues that can really accommodate us. And so two years ago, we were down at the Virginia Beach High where I work, the Virginia Beach Higher Education Center, <laughs> the Virginia Beach Convention Center uh, for the Scholars Breakfast there. And we had in excess of 1,500 attendees mm -hmm. honoring about 362 or so high achieving students, right? Graduating seniors from the both public and private high schools within this region. And we need the viewer <clears throat> to be part of that 1,500 people, right? Absolutely. Ab absolutely. So absolutely. they can go online? They can go online and they can uh, purchase tickets and be a part of it. They can sponsor tables. We even encourage uh, individuals that want to assist with the students themselves or sometimes with their parents. They are able to, to support that also. And if they're not hungry and they're tied up on May 15th, there's a vital role they can play. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Always. Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yes. And yes. when we need them to do that. We need them to do that. Now, quickly, again, the two venues. So last year, we were at the Hampton Roads Convention Center. Yeah, and you yeah. outgrew that one. We are, well, we haven't quite outgrown okay. that. They have a little more space that we can use. We had about 1,400 people over there. You got more than 200 guys involved now. Well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, community, it's a community effort. Can so we close out the show by you all saying you're going to change your name someday? <laughs> well, the plus takes care of it. As long as the numbers keep going up, the plus works. Because of you two guys, the numbers are growing. Because of the kind of action that you guys have put to place, we've got future generations that we can future proud of. Thanks for everything. And all those doing. other men. Let me quickly mention, Bob, the speaker for the 15th. Yeah, because they're, they're uh, closing me out. Dr.